Okay, in this question, we are given two reactions and their equilibrium constants. And it asks us to use these reactions to predict the equilibrium constant for this reaction. So let's see what the relationship is between these sets of reactions and this one down here. Starting on top, NOBr2 going to NOBr. This is in the correct order, or direction, I should say. NOBr is in the products. But we have one Br down here, and we only have half over here. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply this reaction times 2. OK, so that gives us one Br and two NOs. In this reaction down here, we have N2 and O2, one each, but they're on the wrong side of the equation. We need to flip this. I'm just going to do these little arrows here. Tells we're going to flip the whole equation around. And um, then we'll have two NO in the products, and that'll cancel out with the two NOs over here. That would leave us with N2, O2 from this side, Br from this side, and two NOBRs on this side. So by multiplying this top equation by two and flipping this bottom equation, we will get this as the final equation. Now, what effect do these two manipulations have on the equilibrium constant? When we're doubling something, we are going to raise the equilibrium constant to that power. So that is to say we're going to take this value and we're going to square it. Because the equilibrium constant, the um, exponent, is determined by the constant in front of each of the chemicals. Since we're basically putting a 2 in front of each chemical by multiplying this whole reaction by 2, that's the same thing as multiplying the exponents by 2. And you can do that by squaring the total equilibrium constant. So we're going to square this. Then for this equation, we're flipping it. So now the reactants become products, the products become the reactants. And that's taking this and flipping it upside down, which is the same thing as inverting it or multiplying it or raising it to the negative first power. So one more time, if we're doubling this. You square the exponent, and if you flip the equation, you invert the equilibrium constant. And if you say triple this, this would be a 3 here, and so on. But that's what we're going to do to fix these. So to find the final equilibrium constant, we are going to multiply each of these equilibrium constants together. So the um, final equation is going to be 5.3 squared times 2.1. This is the final equilibrium constant, 2.1 times 10 to the 30th raised to the negative 1. If you multiply those together, you would get a final answer of about 1.3 times 10 to the negative 29th power. So that's how you obtain the equilibrium constant for an equation given the equilibrium constant for its parts.